Hello, my name is Galang Satria. I will read about uh, six tips in public speaking and try to solve a reflection to me. <clears throat> first tip is first tips is organize and consist. I think this is very important for me because I believe that every action have a consequences. Mm, when I'm in Ketaman Siswaan class first semester, my first presentation is very funny. Um, so nervous and unprepared. That's make me ramble my explanation and get away from the topic. And when in the question answer section, the audience start to ask about something that I don't recognize. And my response just, oh, did I really say that? <laughs> so I forget how to go out from this, that moment, <laughs> but that is very funny. So to face the problem, I start to make a list from the core of my topic. And next tips is direct eye contact. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not really understand what this is means, but if the meaning like you seem to look to uh, every eye of the audience, I already do that every time I do a presentation. So I give these tips around 70 percent important to do this you need to focus just in the audience and next tips is simplified notes these tips is very important especially for me that have a bad memorizing skill uh, i'm always make a simple notes that fill with the main idea from what will what will i talk about and then I can explain it by my understanding from the material. To do this, you just have to understand the material, improve your knowledge about that, and you can speak fluently. And next is clear, simple slide. <clears throat> this part is also important because slides should become a help for you to explain something. So the first rule is your your slide should be easy to understand. Uh, I just remember that it's Ketaman Siswan again. The lecturer said that she liked a PPT from the group that having some effect inside there. And then I just, I can do better from that. So I input every effect, variant font, beautiful background, and also transition and animation too. <laughs> Finally, the font is hard to read and that's not matching at all. Everyone is laughing because it's too much funny animation too. <clears throat> uh, I don't really know how that feels. So from this problem, I suggest you to matching the effect first before you input it. Okay, next is Confident posture and gesture. For me, this is important because I will help. It will help the audience to imagine what we want to say. Um, actually, I'm doing this hand gesture sometime, and I don't know. It just happen naturally, I think. So to this, to do these tips, I suggest you to keep practice. You know, practice make perfect. Okay, for the last tips is confident, loud voice with pause. Mm. From these last tips, of course, we understand that we want to give information to the audience. We should speak fluently and accurately. When I'm in the first semester, the most challenging uh, the most challenge that I face is speak briefly because it will influence how we speak in front of audience. So I suggest to be brief speak in front of people and then practice to speak fluently. I think that's all for me and I'm sorry for the cricket sound because I recorded this video at night and I don't know how to make it quiet. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.